Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Talking All Things Branding. I'm your host, Faith James, and today we have another amazing show. This is somebody who I have known and have been friends with, and, and not just Facebook friends, like friends where we go to Dunkin' Donuts and strategize brand strategies, friends, somebody who has just been such a dear soul, a loving, caring person, and I want you to hear her story about how and why she started uh, her brand, Eating With V. And what I want you to focus on, because I get this a lot from uh, from clients or from people that I speak to, it's, you know, I still have a job right now, but I have this desire on my heart, which is good. When you get that desire on your heart, you wanna nurture it. It's not like, okay, when I'm done with this job then, it's a both and. You hear me say this all the time, branding is this and that, it's not this or that. So, Veronica, good morning, beautiful Amber. Veronica's gonna share her story. We're gonna have a conversation about following your dream, following your passion, following what God has called you to do. This is the most important thing that you get to do, is to understand what is your purpose, what is your calling, what is your magic. We can all do multiple things, right? We're multi-passionate entrepreneurs, and you get to hear what is the calling. It is no different than when you're in university, you get to declare a major, right? Do we know that the universities have a plethora of studies? English lit, television production, history, all the things. And if you want a degree, you get to declare a major. You don't get to say, oh, I love it all. I love creative writing. I love, you know, abnormal psych. I love it all. This is what a lot of entrepreneurs do. And it's lazy and it's not being obedient to God. So without further ado, let us not waste any more time. Bring on the lovely Veronica Kolobat. Veronica, my love, it is such a joy. It is such a pleasure. I cannot even tell you how good it is to see your beautiful face. Welcome, my love. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure, to, pleasure see to see you. Too. Yeah, you know, what I want to have the audience take away from today is a little bit of your story, right? And so oftentimes your story, it's not just something that's happened to you. It's its like a little crumb leading you on to the next step you get to take. And we don't get to figure it all out at once, but we just get to be obedient to the still small voice. So tell us a little bit about you, your background and how you came to be CEO, founder of Eating With V. Well, well, originally I got there and I um, had a really rough time figuring it out. And I went medically uh, to all different doctors. I could not get any relief from the sickness. And I was so young. They said I was absolutely insane. There was nothing wrong with me. And it turned out I ended up at a holistic uh, practitioner. And I was very sick. My body was reacting to a lot of different foods. Um, it was from stress and so many different things. So ended up healing naturally, long story, like obviously condensed very short. And then it became my passion because I had to give up so many things to get well. And it was such a rough road that I wanted to make the road easier. Like as I deciphered this process and figured out how to do it and created some really amazing foods in the process. Um, it became my passion to help other people to not go through the tedious process that I had to go through to get that. And I want everybody to hear what Veronica just said. So she did all of this work. She knew in her knowing there was something wrong. And so she went on a quest on a journey, finally found the solution through many, many trials and errors. And hear what she said. She didn't just go, oh my gosh, I found it, Eureka, I'm good now. I'm just gonna eat my good food and take care of me. Immediately went to in service to others. So that's one of the things you get to really listen for is when you are called, it is going to be a continuous thing in your heart to say, okay, I just found this the long way and now I get to share it so others who are also struggling don't have to go through that path and i just love that because it shows your heart and when you're coming from a place deep within your heart of others get to get help brilliant things will happen okay so 
now you have said, okay, I found it. And I love what you said too. You had to give up so many things. I think that's where a lot of people struggle, right? In terms of, oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. I can't see my life without it. And they continue down that path, even though it's doing, it's doing damage. So how did you solve that? Well, well, uh, uh, I felt so bad that place for so bad, but it doesn't matter what we want to do. And any time that we don't get that that space, but um, that's right. I would have been able to be, it would have been able to make it better, better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and thank goodness you didn't. So what did you, how did you end up sorting this out, right? Because right there, you know, most people's palate, right, you know, there's a range. Some of us have an extended palate. We're foodies. We eat anything. We love anything. We'll try anything once. And then there are others who, you know, you tell them to eat tofu and they're like, oh, I'd rather slit my throat. How did you, how did you go on this discovery to say, okay, for the people who don't have the most expansive palate, how can I make clean eating, healthy eating, still be fun for them? Yeah, there's yeah, there's so many things actually. These days, these days it's, it's so much so easier than it was when I really started. But, but um, um, the easiest diet, diet on is, is real food. Eating, eating proteins, protein, proteins, proteins vegetables, you know, you know monitor white whiting things they take in white white flour, 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 flour things like that things like that. Oh, okay. So all proteins are in your your coming cookbook and in, in when you're in the test kitchen you, you proteins are good for you. And and the and other the other thing everybody everybody's body is different. different. Yeah. So so and i love and i love that approach of let's let's try it let's see and that there's no one program for every single person because I think sometimes people get into it like, oh, I've got to just do all of this lettuce and carrots and cucumbers and it's like, oh, boring. Um, but your brand approach is it's curated for each person and that there's that connection to, well, where are you, what's your palate, and then let's see what your body really loves and find something that balances both something you love and something that your body loves and find those and and do more of those so when when did you so you're still working a full-time career when did you decide okay i get to make this public i get to you know start the brand development i get to go get the logo done i get to get the website like t walk us through that process because i know that there are many in the audience who would love to know that. Christina, welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday, my love. Walk us through that decision point of, okay, I'm still working because I need to pay the bills and my calling and my passion is over here. You know, what does that dance look like? Well, for, well, me, for me, I decided, I felt like I had to make my logo to make it like real. Like, okay, I am definitely gonna start this now because we do have to make that decision to get started. And the logo was designed, I want to say four years ago, maybe five. And I started just putting content on social media and I just, I just did it for the love of it. Right. I wasn't doing anything with it. I was just putting out content. I was, Faith was actually on one of my, uh, one of my very first show that I shot in my own kitchen and it was a hot mess, but it was a lot of fun. And so it was just putting out Okay, I have to stop you right there because this right here is golden hour, everyone. What did Veronica just say? It was a hot mess and we did it 
anyway. And we didn't have two separate cameras and a photographer. And we didn't have an editing team. She just said, Faith, do you want to be in my studio audience, my kitchen audience? And I'm like, really? Yes, please. And thank you. I think there's like maybe two other people, Max. And it was a hot mess. And she did it anyway. It was a hot mess. And she put it out anyway. This is so important. We're looking for, oh, before, before I get started, okay, I need to do this, 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 and then, and this got to be this perfect, and then this, 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 and then, and then, and then I'll start. Start messy. Start messy. I love the other point for you that you said you needed something to anchor it so it felt real. And that's a lot of brain work because by her creating her logo, she didn't have a website. She did. She wasn't offering anything. Her programs weren't up yet. She had nothing, but she created the logo. That's a signal, internal signal to the brain that says, yes, here we go. And she wasn't on anybody's timeline. Like, oh, for the time I did the logo, I need to do this. And right. Looking not left to right, but, but dead ahead. Okay. Keep going V. So <laughs> you had your live shoot. It was a hot mess. You put it out and you kept putting out content. Take us on the journey. Okay. So from there, I decided my but I'm making them healthy and delicious. So from there, I just kind of go to school. So I think we were behind the people who really want. So I got certain in an integrative coaching. It was a one-year learning journey. And then from there, I started my, I decided I wanted to do an actual live show, a real show. And so the Eating with Me show came about. We shot 12 uh, with a professional. And the funny thing about that was I didn't have the money. It was very, very expensive. So we did a little mini fundraiser kickoff thing to get it started. Hey, this is for the community. It's a give back. And um, we got just enough money to shoot the first four shows. And then I jumped in. I was like, okay, we're going to do 12. <laughs> so with those first four, I sold commercials on those first four, which paid for the second four, which paid for the third four. You know what I mean? So it was a jump and go. We just did it. And those 12 shows are done. They're amazing, professionally done with beautiful lighting, not like we're getting <laughs> Wow, V, that is, that is so good. I mean, everybody, what, what, what's landing for you? What are you hearing V say? Because this is this is why we do this show. We're talking all things brands because everybody's brand journey becomes different. But there's some, what I would say, underlying common denominators, right? One of that uh, special one is the decision, the decision to go. Nothing happens before you decide. And with the creation of her logo, that was her decision point. We're going. And she did the messy at home video and she kept going and going and sharing content and then got so connected to the vision that she went and got a what ma'am a tv show that <laughs> that was crowdsourced crowdfunded see this lets you know there's no excuses where there is a will there is a way where there is a will, there is a way. And the will is so important. I, I share this from time to time when I'm on stages, I'm gonna share it here again. When President Kennedy decided that it was time for America to go into outer space, go to the moon, he went to the team at NASA and said, okay, I have this vision, I've made this decision, America gets to go to the moon, so now he's turning to the professionals. What is it going to take? And what do you think the NASA scientists and the lead team and the leadership and all of the, what do you think they said to the president? Did they say, okay, right, we're gonna need a hundred billion dollars because we're gonna need to build this and then we're gonna need this and we're gonna... They said none of that. Their response to the president to his question, what is it going to take to put a man on the moon 
the NASA team said the will to do it. That's it. Everything else is extraneous. Everything else comes after. The first thing is the will to do it. And that's what V is showing you what that looked like. Didn't have the money, no excuses. She had the will, right? Didn't know if she was going to even get clients out of the show. Didn't matter. What did she have? The will to do it. She had the will to create her own produced television show. And with that will, you can move mountains. Jesus tells us if you just have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to that mountain, mountain be moved. That's what V is demonstrating for you, right? A high, high cost, you know, a development cost, not having the money, the resources, all the things, but she had the will. She had the faith, the determination. She had already decided this gets to happen. And then she sourced, she became creative. This is why when I say you get to activate your brain, because guess what? V's brain went to work for her. If she was just kind of like, uh, wishy-washy, I'm not really sure, fun and her brain has no reason to get activated and get to work. But when you signal to your brain, this is happening, I see it, I visualized it, and V and I, right, we, we herald from all things, visualization, setting intentions, manifest, all the things, very important. You get to still hold that. Even though you can't see, right, V? You hold on to, I see a TV show in my future. I don't know what it looks like, but I see it. And she held on to that. That is powerful. I'm really hoping everybody in the audience and those that are going to catch the replay, that that lands for you. Because who would have, right? You have a, you have a, you have a full season, ma'am, a full <laughs> season, 12 episodes of Cooking with V and you didn't have the money and you didn't know where it was coming from. You didn't know how, but the one thing V had, which is, priceless is a determination being committed a decision and the will okay so where do we get to see these shows so um the show is eating with me and it's on my website eating with mm -hmm. and i also kind of on my social media there's a constant flow of content going on the facebook page not the group but the page and the um tiktok and the instagram so I try to um, put out nuggets of information and then I have a one hour course that I put together and I'm also working on breaking that down into like maybe a six to eight week, you know, let's take this journey together, kind of, you know, breaking that down into even smaller bites to make it more of a lifestyle because it's not a diet, it's not a fad it's a lifestyle and anyone, and anyone who knows me and you know me for how many years like yeah. this is my life this is how i eat this is what i do and um i actually am in love with my food like i love yeah. on it while i'm making it so it becomes i think when we feel our best we then notice when we're not feeling our best and we immediately want to get back on track to feel our best I love that because what you're talking about there is being mindful and being present to our bodies and how we're feeling. Uh, and, I'm, and I can just tell you, I've been, you know, up until this point prior to not being in touch, just busy, busy, busy doing what this is. But the most important thing that I have was my body. I was not cued and I was not listening. So what you're saying is you get to know what balance feels like. You get to know what homeostasis feels like when you slow down and you focus. And many of you might have heard this said before. It'll be said again because it's true. How you look and feel, 80% nutrition, 80% the foods that you put in your body. It is not about trying to do 75 hard. It's not about trying to jump on the latest 10K. It's none of that. It's what am I putting in 80%? And so for somebody who's like, you know, junk food Gina listening to this and it's just like, oh my gosh, like just even the sight of all those vegetables is like breaking me out in hives. <laughs> Pretend junk food Gina is your client. She's here. She's watching. She's like, yeah, I want to learn more. Step us through what that would look like for somebody like that. Well, the very first thing we would do is we're not, no stress, we're not going to take all of the, everything out of your diet like I had to do initially. Mine was literally for my health. Um, it was do or die, and I did. 
But for the person who says, I'm really not feeling right, or I know this junk food is eventually going to catch up to me because it will, we would start slow. You know, if you're drinking four Diet Cokes a day or four Coca-Colas a day, we're going to try to get you to two and see how you feel. And then once you got your two, we'll try to get you to one and see how you feel. We're definitely going to take the sugar out of your house and replace it with a monk sugar or something that tastes like sugar, looks like sugar, will trick your brain. But it won't have the glycemic load on the body that the actual sugar has. And if you knew what sugar was doing to your body in all of the places it is, like the average eater is taking in 46 teaspoons of sugar every single day, but it's hiding. Yeah. And some are in hiding in plain sight, your Coca-Colas, your energy drinks, your, you know, and caffeine, that's a whole nother animal. But we would, what we would do too is work on mindset. Because when we go into it going, oh, God, I don't want to do that. It's a whole different experience than if we go into it going, oh my gosh, I'm excited to check out this new journey and see where it takes me. Two totally different outcomes. So it's, so a, it's process, a process, and I think the, the, the extended program is supposed to be including things like mindset, um, dietary theories, try this for a week, try that for a week. We're going to try some of my recipes, which if you had my carrot cake and bikini bread and any of these awesome things that have no gluten, dairy, sugar, or grains, you would be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> And, and what I love about that is, right, you know, here's the brilliant thing. It's like V is doing the work for us. She's doing the work. She's testing. She's testing and figuring out what works and what doesn't. So you're not going to have to have that excuse or that barrier of like, oh, now I got to go figure out this and that didn't work and et cetera, et cetera. So connect for us and for the audience, V, the, the life-saving benefits of eating well. Talk about, I know you said that was your journey, but speak about that because let me just share why I'm saying that. So on the outside, right, for years and years, like I look great, I look healthy, all the things. And in July of 21, I was scheduled to have surgery. I was scheduled to have a hysterectomy because I had uterine fibroids. And the day before, well, a couple days before, you know, you get to go in for your pre-op, do the blood work, the, the chest x-rays, all the things. So the day before the surgery, right, I literally was on a call with clients telling them, oh, I'm going to be off of surgery six weeks. In the session, I got a call and I saw that it was a hospital. So I, you know, excused myself and took the call. And it was a hospital calling to say, um, hi, Faith James, yes, we just want to let you know your surgery has been canceled. Your blood sugar was 309. <gasps> My A1CV was 13.1. And listen to me, no idea. The frequent urination, not being connected, just like, oh, you're just getting older, whatever, I'll just deal with it. Not being connected, this is what you were talking about, when you know what homeostasis and balance feels like, the minute something is off kilter, you're like, okay, let me go investigate that. But I was so busy doing the things and not focusing on the most important thing, which was me and my health, that I was, I was in the danger zone and had zero clue. At one point, after I had gotten the news and like ran right away to my doctor and got on meds to, to, to bring it down like right away, then even my eyesight became blurry. Fee, I could not see to drive. Like yeah. this is how dangerous it was. And like V was saying, it was like do or die. In that moment, I was like, that's it, pasta, bread. Da -da. I made such an amazing shift, lost all the weight, went back like literally a year at my, my A1C was down in the like six point something. My doctor was like incredulous. The surgeon looked, he like, I couldn't even recognize you. You've lost so much weight because I, I, I get to make a choice. We don't want it to come to the point where, like with yours, it was like death's door, mine, death. It doesn't get to be that way. So share the importance of choosing health, choosing to be in connection with your body. The first thing I would like to say, because the first thing people say to me, oh, it's so expensive to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. The first thing, there's a twofold answer, number one, your medical, medical bills are far, far more expensive, expensive than, than eating healthy. healthy. 
Love that. And number two, if you go to your local vegetable market, I literally go to my vegetable market every week and I get bags of wonderful, delicious fruit and vegetables. And it's always between 50 and 60 bucks. Mm-hmm. Now, to me, that is extremely reasonable to have a counter cover with vegetables and fruits and things that are nourishing the body. Lean protein. I mean, Aldi makes it possible. There's a lot of places that you can go and get affordable chicken and turkey that isn't hormoned up, that isn't full of antibiotics, that's not tampered with. And still, we don't fully know what's going on with our food unless we grow it ourselves. But the reality of the world is that we can't just plop a garden on our patio and, and make it happen. So we have to trust, and here mindset comes in again, to bless the food and love the food. When you're making the food, don't make it a chore. Be like, oh my God, I am so blessed that I have this beautiful food to feed my body and keep it healthy because there are food deserts out there. There are deserts where people can't get any fruits and vegetables. I would just die if I couldn't have that food. So it's be mindful, watch out for things in bags and boxes and cans and look at the sugar. When you start watching the sugar label, you will see that they are hiding sugar everywhere. Anything that says low fat, stay away from it. It has no sugar. So that's a good tip. The fat, we need fat for our brain. Yeah. We don't need tons of bacon. We don't need tons of bad fats. We need avocados. A little bit of butter is okay. I do organic butter because the fat of the animal which is where the butter is coming from, is if, it's, if they're pumped up with hormones and steroids, mm. you're getting all that. But if you go to the organic butters that are not loading the animals up, it's supposed to be a lot better. So when I do butter, it's organic butter. Okay. But yeah, it's a couple more. But one trip to the ER, <laughs> I love that. Thousands of dollars. Listen, that is perspective. If ever I have heard perspective, right? You get to choose. It's like, what's, what's the, you know, it's all relative. It's all relative. And I love that you said it's not the excuse that, oh, it's expensive because like my local publics, when I, you know, they're always like two for ones. Like, you know, they have sometimes like the blackberries, which I love, you know, like an abogo or three for 10. You know, I will definitely get those when I see them because how easy is it now that I'm sitting here healthy and vibrant than before when my go to, my grab and go was like, because I was training, I was in this program training for hours, hours into the morning, grab and go a chocolate you know, square, grab and go a chocolate square. And I think this focus on sugar, because my mom loves the monk sugar, swears by it. And, you know, if if we're hearing this and we're like, what is a monk sugar? Go do some research. Reach out to V, connect with her. In fact, I've put V's Instagram up here. Everybody, please follow V. I mean, she is a wealth of knowledge. She's a joy. Like, look at her. She is in her purpose. She's in her path. And I just, I just want to honor you for being obedient because that's one of the things like you said it's not easy the the road to calgary is not easy but there's joy right when you arrive there's joy when you're at your your purpose oh my gosh who listens i'm not sure who this is facebook facebook user put your name again so we can see who this is cannot wait to hear the replay i'm just looking at your beautiful faces as i'm on a oh a cross-country flight Aww. rock stars thank you Good morning, Kamisha. Yes, Kamisha has so much knowledge. Kamisha yeah. is, um, she's the CEO of, tell me your company again, uh, Kamisha. She's in therapy. She helps uh, licensed therapists get their practice up. So oh, wow. she's in the health and wellness space. And so for her to be saying so much knowledge, this is yeah. what I'm saying. Listen to my story. I had a 301, 309 blood sugar and did not know. I was peeing so, I just thought it was like, oh, getting older. Remember, hello, you may be many things. You're not a doctor. I was always 
thank you, Kamisha, the CEO clinician. So she Love gets that. therapists to get their practices up and running. I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on TV. So why no, no. was I going like, oh, the frequent unit? Oh, you, listen, this is what I was saying. Oh, it's just the fibroids pushing on your unit. Meanwhile, my blood sugar, 309, to the point that my eyesight was blurry. And the minute, of course I got on metformin, but the minute I was intentional and shifting, so I would have protein and I would just have a ton of vegetables. I would eat a whole friggin' bag of salad. It, yeah. To me, fill up, because that was, V, this is what I would say to myself, oh, the clean ease. It's like you get hungry so fast. And so I was like, okay, eat as much as you want. You will have a salad, eat the whole bag. You don't have to like cut it in half, like do whatever you get to do, but it's the quality of the food that you're putting in. And it listen, if you can't, I'm gonna speak and V, correct me. If you can't do the organic right now, as long as it's of something that God create, like you can pull it off of a tree or you can dig it up from an earth, even if it's not organic, start there. Yeah. Because yeah. like you said, the packages and the boxes, the reason that they can stay in packages and boxes for a long time, there's other stuff in it. Yeah. Like if it's not going bad because it's natural and whole, there's chemicals in there binding it, holding it together and you're ingesting that. So listen, we're not saying, oh my gosh, never, ever, ever have anything, you know, that you really love, but it's all again, right? V moderation. And also, you know, you know when, when you start, you start getting, getting into boxes, boxes bags, and cans, cans they're, they're using, using things like dextrose and maltodextrin. And, and another deceptive thing, thing is like stevia in the raw. raw. So stevia in the raw packets, packets you think, oh, they're so good for you. Inside stevia in the raw, is like Walter like Dextrin or dextrose, dextrose and a little, and a little bit of stevia. Mm. And so, so the same the thing, thing with Splenda, Splenda. people demonize Splenda, Splenda, but Splenda is Walter Dextrin, Dextrin and Dextrose. Dextrose. <laughs> it's got a it's tiny bit of sucralose in it. So, so there's, there's a lot, lot of different, different alternatives. alternatives. And of and course, big food will, will demonize, demonize those alternatives because they don't want us to get away yeah, from sugar. sugar that's like their big that feeds the pharma that feeds the medical machine it feeds everything for it Listen, will not run. she is speaking truth speaking truth i will not name the brand or the client or anything for fear of being sued within an inch of my life but i had worked on a brand project for a food brand and they were so very careful not to mention the word uh, craveability because that's like within that there's addiction. When you crave, it's not like, oh, I feel like this and then you're out. When you're craving it, now you're not in control. Your body is in control and they didn't want to be associated because they know it was true yeah. that the, the, the foods and the elements within there that they were putting in, it was creating and causing addiction. So we demonize Coke and heroin and all the things and sugar gets to be at the top of that list. It and sure I, does. If, and if you can share a little bit, V, um, in our remaining moments, when you said hidden, give us some things or some foods that maybe we're consuming and we think it's not sugar, but the sugar is right there. We just don't see it. Love to. <clears throat> So let me say too, on my website, there's a section that's Food Labels 101, and I've dissected a few labels there, so you can go like ingredient by ingredient, what they are. Got it. But hidden stuff, frozen vegetables, has hidden sugar. I'm stuck. Stop, stop the presses, because I, I literally just did some like frozen broccoli florets. What, ma'am? Check the labels. There are several vegetables, and it may not be in all, but I have it in my class that I teach, and it shows you the back of labels where they have sugar, added sugar, into your vegetables. Baked beans are horrible. Any condiments and sauces, and eight out of ten of them are loaded with sugar. You have one tablespoon of sauce, and like, and like a teaspoon and a half of sugar. sugar. So here's, here's, a, here's a, an example. example. This is your guide. So for every four grams of sugar that you see on a label, four mm -hmm. is, is one, one teaspoon. Okay. 
So if you see 16 grams in a serving, you know it's four teaspoons of sugar. And what would you say is the daily recommended allowance for t- teaspoons of sugar per day? Well, for women, it's no more than six teaspoons. This is right from the American Heart Association. And for men, it's more than nine. Children is four to six. And look at how they're loading up our children with sugar. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole other show you get to come back and talk about. Oh, girl. It's crazy. It's crazy. That sugar is hiding everywhere. But what happens is the liver is getting all of this sugar from all of these sources. We're drinking it. We're eating it. You know, it comes from everywhere. And the liver can't process it. So what it's doing is it's putting it out into the body as fat. So your lipids go up. Obviously, your weight goes up. Obesity is a gargantuan problem in our country today. 74% of people are overweight or obese. Wow. It's an astounding number. And it's and from it's sugar, sugar hiding everywhere. So if somebody were to go, okay, I got it. I got it, V, I got it. Um, give them like the first one to two, three steps that they can do easily today. Like when we get off this show, what are some things that they can do today to start? Number, Number one, one, get the sugar out of your house. Okay. You can replace it with granulated low fruit sweetener. You can you, there's a brown sugar version, there's a powdered version. There's no excuse to have white sugar in your mouth anywhere. Okay, white sugar out. Go go do a pantry raid right now, everybody. Go and listen and don't don't say oh, I'm going to give it to the food pantry because the food pantry doesn't need that either. It's like if it's not good enough for you, don't give it to the pantry. I'm just going to go on a rant about that. Like that's not okay either. We just need to let, like you said, these big companies know, like, no, we, we, we're done. Like, we're claiming back our health. So white sugar, t- toss it in the trash. Okay, next. What else? Number, Number two, two, read, read labels. labels. I cannot, I cannot stress, stress important stress enough, enough of how, how you should read, read labels. Label. Look, Look at the label on the back. back. If you see tons of added sugar, sugar. <clears throat> things like you think are healthy. healthy. Granola bars, not yeah. healthy. Wow. Um, so there's a lot of... And it, like cereals, they can have cashew cereals and that kind of stuff. They're out healthy. They're so yeah. great for you. You have like, like four teaspoons of sugar in a serving. Wow. wow. Orange juices, things like that. Okay. Get rid of fruit juices. That's number three. Ooh. Fruit really? juices. Well, let me explain. Tell me. So God gives us an apple. Yeah. And the apple is perfect. It has fiber and nutrients and phytonutrients and everything that we need. And it has just enough sugar to give us energy. So what do we do? We take the apple, we take eight apples, and we squeeze all the sugar out of them and put it into a glass. My question to you is, could you sit down and eat eight apples? Right now. How many apples do you think you could eat before you'd be full? I mean, two, three max for sure. My point. So what you've done is just taken all that fructose sugar out of this perfect apple. You've left the fiber behind. You've left a ton of nutrients behind. You've left everything behind. Wow. Them and you're drinking a glass of sugar. Oh. Crazy goodness, V. So I don't know about everybody else, but I'm thinking like this is magic. This is magic. I want you, everybody who's with us and those of you who are going to catch the replay, I want you to show V some gratitude. Tell her what landed, what you're taking away. V, I know for me, even though I've been like, yeah, clean it, and I can, and I can clean it up even more because literally, because here's what I did. We had the kids um, last week and Jim went shopping and, you know, he bought a bunch of stuff for that. And there were, there were two, um, you know, like, bottles of they they wanted apple juice so my my liquid is normally like 24 to 36 ounces of water and i put in talk to me about my lemon concentrate am i okay with that use real lemons use real lemons use real lemons for real use use and water i can't stress enough how important water is yeah okay i'm i'm see listen i'm this is why I do this show because even what though I know V and we're personal friends, I mean, when you come at it from a professional point of view, you want to make sure, thank you, 
And listen, and Maxine is also, Maxine is one of our accelerators. V is also an accelerator. Let me just say something about the accelerator program. The way that you're on this program, the way V is on this program to promote her brand and all the thing is because she's a member of the brand accelerator program. And so this is my, this is my like ministry, this program. And it is my absolute joy to promote and highlight our accelerator. So Maxine, yes, Maxine knows what she's saying too, because she too is in the health and wellness field. Yay. Is to shift one thing is what I'm taking away. Start with one thing. So, okay, I thought I was doing the best thing, getting my lemon concentrate. And yeah, I do great with the water and I get to shift. What I was telling you about the apple, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna put in a little bit of the apple juice in my water. But now I'm just not even going, that's not for me anymore. Not going to do that. So I'm shifting from lemon concentrate to real lemons. Take the extra time to go like find them and get them. Yeah. And I don't do soda. I, I don't do any of those things. So that, oh, speak to me about like, you know, those like bubbly um, carbonated drink. Talk to me, because listen, we live on those. Talk to me about that. They are, carbonation isn't really great for us. And, and microbiome, microbiome is a whole another show. show. Yeah. Is, is so, so regulated, regulated by the by food that we eat, eat and it and, and it and regulates it everything else. else. But we're we're, we're also, also taking in like toxins from, from the air, air I, I bubbles from, from this, and, this and, and you know, you know we have we toxins, toxins in our cleaners and so our microbiome is so amazing. But it's also fragile. So if it gets off kilter to to simplify this, yeah. Um, um, many, many systems, systems can be disrupted. Our hormones are regulated there in our stomach. Our immune system, system is modulated there in the stomach. stomach. And there's and the there's vagus nerve that, that, is, is, that takes care of all the neurological from, from the stomach. stomach. So, so it could create brain, brain problems. problems. So, so the microbiome is like the seed of our health. Another reason is to eat good and do good things for our body. And back on to the juice topic. If you wanted, wanted to add, to add something, something, they make this um, cranberry, cranberry juice that has, has no sugar, sugar added. added. Mm -hmm. Nasty, Nasty to drink it by itself, itself, but you can you drop, drop a couple drops in your water, water use, use a couple, a couple drops, drops of monk sugar, sugar in it, and, and it, would, it, it would it would flavor it up, up that sweet that, that we all crave so, so much without hitting you with the glycemic load. Plus, it would be good for the kidneys because the cranberry is so great for our urinary Thank you, ma'am. Listen, I, I've got my value for today. If I got nothing at all, I got that. I get to shift what my water intake looks like. So V, we have, I mean, so much gratitude for you. You're, you're a plethora of knowledge and because you've done the work, you've done the work from a personal standpoint and so you can speak to it. Everyone in the audience is tremendously blessed. Tell us about how we get to work with you, where if we said, okay, great, this was good information, I get to shift my water and I get to go deeper. How do they work with you? What programs do you have that we can uh, share with them? Well, currently I have a, and first of all, I, I want to say thank you, all of you. I am just so blessed to be here and sharing this knowledge is my passion. Um, I get divine downloads of information and I try to get them out there to you. I know that that is coming to me from spirit, from God, and it has to be shared. And um, I do have a one hour training that's available right now. I literally just launched it last month. It's a brand. Okay, give, give me, uh, is it a quick link that I can throw it up? Where can I find it? Is it on the website? It's on my website. It's okay, only $49, on. it's one full hour. And um, it will definitely get you kicked off the right way. <laughs> and then I will say, if you wouldn't mind to um, sign up at my site, I don't send out a ton of emails. Um, but when the course is available, then you'll be able to get on the list to know when the six or eight weeks, whatever that looks like, it's mm -hmm. in process right now. Okay, so I am on V's site. I'm signing up right now. I'm going to post the link again. So V, what, what is it called on the website? It should be right at the top of the page. It's called Hidden Sugars and Label Reading. Okay. Watch for the on demand, eating with V. Um, is there a registration um, or do we just email you? 
Yeah, there should be. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. Yeah, pull it up, and I, because as we wrap, I just want to make sure. Um, yeah, let me. I know I'm yeah. happy to do all my own tech too. So yeah, it says register for the on-demand class. Register. Okay. The on-demand class. Okay. So got it so it's on the it's literally right below the the, the hero page on her website yeah, yeah. um go and got it yep yeah okay so this is it everybody uh go to eatingwithv.com right now sign up i just did register so you get the notifications the program that we just talked about it's only 49 dollars, and you think about just think about the value you've received. I know the value I've received because I drink that water combination all the time. And now I've gotten like, oh, go get the real cranberry, which is good for the kidney anyway, and do that instead of lemon concentrate. Drop a little monk. If, and I, I can take it. I can take it tart. I can take it bitter. I'm okay. Yeah. But that's valuable. So that's a small shift. So this is what we're talking about. Let's start to make some small shifts in the way that we are showing up because this is our one body, this is our one temple and we get to really take care of it. Holy Spirit lives within this, within this temple. And so when you think about throwing in all the, and listen, me too, and I can coach you on this because just like me, right? I'm the one who was like cramming all kinds of craziness in my body, hence the diabetes diagnosis. And we get to shift that. We get to shift that. Uh, so. I just want to do a small plug for the Queen Awakening retreat, which I'm getting ready to kick off in 15 minutes. If you're not registered, go get registered. One of the things we are sharing as part of that series is this idea that it is a temple and that queens take care of the, their temple. They take care of their castle. They take care of their queendom. And so this is analogous to that. If you you know, the recommended serving of vegetables for day, four to, you know, four to nine, seven to nine serving. If you're not doing any, try one. And V is a, per listen to me, V is a perfect person to help you with this because I remember when she was, when Candida was kicking her butt, I was right there and knew it. I mean, you look at her now, she's like healthy and glowing. She was, sign and she's like fit and trim. She was significantly less weight than she is right now. Like literally knocking on death's door. So I don't know who else is, you know, getting that download that, yeah, I get to do a $49 program with V to, to get me on the road. So I hope that this is landing for so many of you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for showing up and participating. V, thank you so much. Again, we get to have you back on the show to talk about the kids and the sugar we get to have. And see, this is what I'm saying. The benefits of being in the brand accelerator program, you can come on as many times as you want. You've got a new program you want to show hey come on we'll talk about it because it's all value it's all value that we're bringing to the community to the marketplace so fee mwah, thank you so much thank you so much yes my love you have blessed us you have blessed us thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm. everyone show your gratitude show your gratitude for v this 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 is a a mic drop for your your internal soul like whoa this is a wake-up call i needed uh diet coke Two, get it down to one. Ten, get it down to nine. We're stepping you through in small steps, but you get to do this for yourself because the long-term residual, insidious, you know, hidden detriments. Remember, I was at 309 and had no clue. I could have literally just keeled over in a diabetic coma and people are like, wait, what? Because yeah. I look good on the outside, but the inside was where you needed to focus, where I needed to focus. So, be my love. Thank you so much. Thank Everybody, you. Ha yes, yes. You are a blessing to the world. Thank you. I receive that, and, and as are you. I am so grateful to be in your company. I'm so grateful to be able to call you client, and more importantly, I'm grateful to be able to call you friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love you, my Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, bye. All right, everyone. This is replay. Catch the replay. Redo as many times as you need to. There is her website, Eating with V. Go get connected. Subscribe. Do I'm going to do the 49. Because clearly, as much as I know, right? See, that's not my wheelhouse. That is not my zone of genius. Clearly, that I had diabetes and didn't know. <laughs> right? I can laugh now because I've taken my, you know, my health back in control. And I get to do more and I can still do better. So go get registered. Sign up. $49. It's, it's, it's a nothing in terms of the return on the investment you're going to get. Remember, only 
only max six teaspoons of sugar per day. Some products have that in one serving and we're eating two and three servings of that. You know, for me, what landed with the juice was like, literally God made it perfect. And we're like, oh, that good fiber, we don't need that. All those dense nutrients, we don't need that. Just bring on the sugar. Eight apples, <laughs> the equivalent of the sugars in eight apples. Let me down that right away. Oh, I feel great. Uh, no, you're, you're gonna secretly have some ailment that you don't know that's just gonna like spring on you one day. So I love you guys so much. Be well. Thank you for joining the show. We will be back again with another fabulous accelerator and another episode. So stay tuned, be well, and get the sugar out of your house. That was step number one. Go find the white sugar and throw it in the trash. Do not, do not give it to the food pantry. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.